Hey everyone! Guess what? Jennifer Lopez just dazzled at the Toronto International Film Festival premiere of Unstoppable Without Ben Affleck. Yeah, you heard that right. JLo strutted her stuff in a jaw-dropping bejeweled dress, turning heads and stealing the spotlight. It's a big night for her as she supports the film she and Ben made together. But where was Ben, you ask? Well, Ben was spotted in LA, grinning from ear to ear. He's busy with post-production on The Accountant too, and spending quality time with his kids this weekend. Wink, wink. So he skipped out on the TIFF premiere. Now, let's dive into Unstoppable. Co-produced by Ben and his BFF Matt Damon, it tells the inspiring true story of wrestler Anthony Robles, who achieved NCAA Division I champion status with just one leg. Jennifer stars as Anthony's mother, and the film is already generating Oscar buzz. But the buzz doesn't stop there. Just two weeks ago, Jen filed for divorce from Ben. Talk about timing, right? They have no prenup, so everything they acquired during their roughly two-year marriage is community property. This includes Ben's production company, Artist Equity, AE, which produced Unstoppable. Sidebar, this comes after Ben's 99 Playboy interview resurfacing. So, did Ben really think this was it with J. Lulu? No prenup, a wedding ring with not going anywhere engraved inside it, and a $60 million mansion bought in cash by both parties. And how does Matt feel about this? Hmm, inquiring queens want to know. Moving on. So, financially, J. Lo is entitled to a share of the profits from AE's hit movies, including Air, The Instigators, Small Things Like These, and The Accountant too. Quite the portfolio, huh? Despite efforts to hash out a settlement, negotiations haven't gained traction, and they're not even on speaking terms. No wonder Ben's hanging back in Los Angeles, while Jen makes a splash at the premiere. That's all for now, folks. Stay tuned for more updates on J.Lo and all things Hollywood. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Catch you later.